like Hitler's moustache, what nice things did some idiot ruin for everyone else. Epic Games ensured I am not going to back any games on Kickstarter anytime soon. This. So much this. Many animals in Australia. Someone brought the cane toad to Australia thinking it would kill pests. In reality, they have grown so much that they have destroyed the ecosystems and food chains. It's so sad how we will never know how good the wildlife would have been without that prick. Men ruined online dating for men. Women ruined it for women as well. Gaming ruined by aimbots and other hacks. Aimbotting has been around since the first FPS, sadly. I remember them back in the quake days. But yes, they suck and ruin it for everyone. Christians ruined Jesus. Berlusconi founded a party named Forza Italia, which is exactly what you would shout during a sport match, Go Italy. Now nobody says it as it feels extremely awkward. Sounds like the name of a racing game. The Fedora, twofold. The Fedora is an amazing hat, but cringy fat slobs had tarnished its reputation, now if you wear it you are seen as a fucking internet idiot. Also, most Fedora sold now are not Fedora, most of the time they are Trilby hats. What ruined hats like that was almost everyone wearing them with casual shit. Are you wearing a three-piece suit? Okay, sure, put the hat on. Are you wearing dirty jeans and some fucking weeb t-shirt? No. Stop. My initials are literally SS. I'm German, so I guess that counts. Same with anyone born in 1988. Stay strong, slash you slash gas the Jews 88. Hitler also ruined the swastika. He also made waving awkward. Happy cake day. Mussolini ruined both Roman salute and Fasces symbol for everyone. Pokemon in elementary, just because some kid decided to pelt a Pokeball at someone's skull. Whoever the key turning point person slash activist was with the rainbow flag equals LGBTQ thing. I don't care about what you do and I don't mind raising my hand publicly in the affirmative when the question is asked whether one supports the rights fellow humans deserve, but now I can't have a cool rainbow flag without people thinking I'm pushing it like an obnoxious vegan or something. TL slash doctor, I want a cool rainbow flag without people assuming I'm gay, not that there's anything wrong with that. I have one on my car and I'm a straight dude. It's right next to my Gun Owners of America sticker. You can still rep the rainbow flag and not worry about that shit. It stands for a worthy enough cause. All the violence in schools nowadays. If you get into a fight on security cameras and fight back as self-defense, the school will still punish you and the aggressor. If I wasn't able to fight back, I'm pretty sure I would have been actually murdered by my bullies in school. I don't have, or want, kids, but this is still so infuriating. Creative names for kids. I think the less common names are pretty awesome, but all of those dumb parents who decided to just spell a common name with extra letters or something kinda ruined it. A unique name used to be so cool. Now it's just same old, same old. The classic names are now noteworthy. Names like Jane, Eleanor, Patrick, and Alexander. I hear those names and I appreciate them more. I was telling my husband that I'm actually really starting to like the name Dorian. Re, Dorian, I've been thinking the same thing lately. It's a cool name, it's just too bad that Dorian Gray and a terrible hurricane are the only cultural references anyone knows for that name. Guns. Peter Dinklage simultaneously made people realize that dwarfs can be sexy and also raised the bar way too high for the rest of us. Fuck you Peter, you sexy, sexy man. You can just walk under the bar. Too broke for actual gold but here, sports medal. Idiots aiming green laser pointers at planes. It got them banned here in Switzerland. They were also used by observatories to show the sky to people but now we can't do it anymore. In all fairness, the sky isn't that hard to find. Going out to eat and there will be a baby. For a moment I thought you meant, going out to eat with a woman, and then there will be sex, which will lead to a baby nine months later, much more convoluted, ha. Trump and red hats. LOL. 
I have a reed hat with white letters, that I dare not wear in public anymore. Is it the Nuka-Cola hat? Because I've gotten really weird looks when I wear it in public. The movie Sideways killed Merlot sales for a while. Apparently, that movie caused a ton of issues for Napa Valley tourism. They did have a huge boom, but the tourists were rude, and would do stupid shit from the movie, like drink from the spit bowl, and spill it everywhere. I think it's funny all these women named Danny or Daenerys because for 20 years the name was associated with an honorable, self-assured, and righteous woman. And then, not. It still is. The last season just never happened, man shrugging. Actually needing to talk to the manager. Years ago I used to work at an insurance company. I was like 18 and you'd get people phoning up complaining about things. Given my low level I really wasn't supposed to be fixing people's complaints, there's nothing I can do, and given my low level of pay, why should I stick my neck out to appease someone when I wasn't really supposed to? Sometimes after endless hedging they'd eventually ask to speak to the manager. Finally. I wished they simply said can I speak to the manager as the first thing they said. Everything would have been solved a million times quicker. The thing is, the manager would never accept the call being transferred to them, unless the caller actually asked to speak to the manager. Greater than the manager would never accept the call being transferred to them, unless the caller actually asked to speak to the manager. This was completely intentional. Assign a person to take calls, tell them to say they can't do anything, and have to make the caller figure out to go up the chain of command? Definitely a responsibility avoiding move, there. Being brown and flying on a plane with a beard. The TSA is a bitch because of the damn Taliban. The TSA is a bitch, period. I got a pat down from this guy at JFK and when he realized he was going to have to pat me down, i.e. touch my dick, he got this really depressed look on his face and audibly whined. Bro, if you have to touch my dick for your job can you not whine about it? I don't feel any better about you having to touch my dick for your job. But I do need to get on this plane, so brace yourself for a fistful of dick and I'll brace myself for a dick full of fist. Inviting kids to your private amusement park. Isis kinda fucked everyone with the name Isis, and anyone who could be named that in the future. Which sucks because it's a very beautiful name with an even more beautiful meaning. Ha, you don't know the half of it. A college in my area used Isis as their online portal name and had to change it to Sis because it was telling people to join Isis in emails otherwise. I work at a university and pretty sure we had an ISIS system. Something to do with International Student Information System of something. Now also known as CIS or maybe even CIS own. Being named, Osama. I live in the US, one of best friends is Egyptian. He has at least four friends with that name. It's super common over there. That one ass clown ruined the name for everyone. Nah, maybe for those living in the US, but for the rest of the world, not really. Trench coats. Yeah, I had a nice one back in the day and those Columbine shit fuckers ruined it for me. Couldn't wear it without some moron kid making some comment about how just because I wore it I was probably going to hit up a school. People were that nuts about them because of that. They didn't even wear trench coats, they wore dusters. Ted in accounting, we can't make proper coffee ever since he busted the machine. Idiot. Good, good. All according to plan, the espresso grinder only emits a foul, brackish liquid and bellows black smoke. The milk frother lets out a ghastly, high-pitched sound like the wail of a banshee. Is this your doing, or Ted's? Terrorists in general with ski masks. People still wear ski masks without being afraid that they will be misjudged. I would judge them if they weren't skiing. Hitler ruined the name Adolf. He also ruined the name Hitler. Hitler's father Alois Hitler Sr., 1837 to 1903, was the illegitimate child of Maria Anna Schickelgruber. The baptismal register did not show the name of his father, and Alois initially bore his mother's surname Schickelgruber. In 1842, Johann Georg Heidler married Alois's mother Maria Anna. 
Alois was brought up in the family of Heidler's brother, Johann Nepomuk Heidler. In 1876, Alois was legitimated and the baptismal register changed by a priest to register Johann Georg Heidler as Alois's father, recorded as Georg Hitler. Alois then assumed the surname Hitler, also spelled Heidler, Hutler, or Huetler. The name is probably based on one who lives in a hut, German Hutter for hut. Thank God they didn't ruin the name Napermuck. Honestly if Adolf Hitler was actually called Napermuck Schickel Gruber the war would probably end up a bit more whimsical. The name Karen. Reddit you did this. This is exactly where my mind went. I know exactly one Karen and she is a total sweetheart. I want to formally apologize to all the nice Karens out there.